Today, I'm gonna to be painting on an uncut sheet of dollar bills. That's right, you heard me correctly, an uncut sheet of 32 $1 bills. The first thing I need to do is attach this to something sturdy. So I found this piece of wood in my garage and cut it down to size. Now I got a pretty cool package from Posca. Posca USA sent me a package of markers, color pencils, fine liners, and this huge marker, which is fake. I decided that it would be an awesome opportunity to use Posca markers to paint on these $1 bills. Next, it was time to head outside so that I could use some spray paint. All right, if you follow my short form content, you'll know that I love using these Posca Mop Rs, but I normally use them on an iPad or I'm ruining something, as you guys say. So today, we're gonna use them on a bigger piece. Now I do have to admit, using these Poscas the way they're supposed to be used is actually pretty satisfying. All right, I'm not gonna take any chances. It's time to get out the projector. I spent a lot of money on these $32 bills, so I don't wanna mess them up. I've decided to do a really rough sketch with the white Posca marker. That way it somewhat shows up, but it doesn't mess up my final piece. Now I've also spent a lot of time recently trying to redo my studio, so let me know what you guys think about the background and how everything looks. Okay, I finally finished the sketch that I used with the projector. I just did it with a white Posca marker, so it's very light and it's very rough. Now we're just gonna get into the main drawing. First off, we're gonna start color blocking with the white Posca. I have done dollar bills before, single dollar bills, and when I did them, I would color block the entire piece with white. That way I had a nice base coat for all the colors. For some reason this time, I did not do that. And I came to realize that was a pretty big mistake. All right, this is taking a lot longer than I thought. I'm on my third or fourth coat on some of these areas and it is still not covering it. It's really bright in here and it's giving me a headache. It's making it hot with these lights. So I'm gonna turn the lights off, turn some of them down and we're gonna get back to painting on all these dollars. If you haven't already, go down, hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. And if you hit the bell, it will let you know every time I post a new video. This is going to take forever. These dollars are soaking up this paint like they're extremely dehydrated. I'm gonna dim the lights again, get back to work so I can get this finished for you guys. I don't know about all of you guys, but when I do these videos or I watch them, the black is seriously the most satisfying part. It goes on so smooth and juicy and it just brings the piece together. So I recently noticed that I do a lot of short form content using Posca markers and doing a lot of this cartoony kind of stuff. So I figured I needed to start matching my long form content with my short form content. But I would love to hear what you guys think about that and what types of videos you would like to see. All right, it's the next day and we need to get this painting done. Now it has taken me a ton of coats to try to get this finished. So I think I'm gonna try some matte medium and see if that's gonna make this process a little bit easier and take down a few of those coats. Okay, so we've got a layer of matte medium down on here and I'm not really sure how it's gonna turn out because if you look really close, it's pretty warped. So I'm hoping once it dries, and uh, you know, settles in a little bit, that maybe it won't be as warped. Um, but I know it's a lot more liquid than this paint has been from the Posca markers, so fingers crossed, guys. Okay, this is actually great. So using the matte medium, I, I don't know why I didn't do that from the beginning. I did two coats, it's completely covered on this money right here. And it's a little ironic doing money on money, right?
Sorry about that, George. Now I'm sure the art is not gonna be the biggest topic in the comments. Um, probably gonna be, isn't that illegal? Aren't you breaking the law? I'd like to hear what you guys think about that down in the comments. All right, the painting is done. So that means it's time to get a look at the sexy shots of the final piece. And there it is guys. I hope that you love it. It turned out really cool. Now I am going to go get a custom frame made for this and then once it is framed and it is all finished, it will be on my website linked below for sale. And if you guys want to see me do more stuff like this and if you like the uncut dollar bills and it does really well, then I will definitely purchase some more of them and get some more custom art on them. If you guys like this video, then you might want to check this one out because YouTube thinks that you're going to like it. I'll see you on the next one guys. Bye. Bye.